Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is the, it is who, it is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pow. Hey, this is a cute t-shirt. I was walking um, out of a store and someone was like, hey, cute t-shirt. And I was like, oh, thank you. I gotta remember what t-shirt it was because usually I have so many t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, well, I just throw it on depending on what, what color hair, what color how the weather is, how I'm feeling, whatever. Anyway, so um, I was the ability to stop the concert. This okay, this is about Travis. Fifty nine pa uh, page operations plan, and it clearly says the only uh, two people that are um, have the authority to stop the concert were the executive producer and the concert producer. Um, he was not responsible for this, but he wants to be responsible for the solution. And I'm here to make sure that we can connect the dots and to make sure that this tragedy, that there's a lesson out of this tragedy and something like this doesn't happen again. Loves. Yeah, I, I heard you say that he's taken responsibility. What do you mean by that? And he wants to make sure this doesn't happen again. What do you mean? When I say responsibility, someone has to say where are the breakdowns? Where was the communication breakdown? Where was the public safety breakdown? I mean, this notion that Travis had the ability to stop. Well, did he? Did he have the ability to stop? Did he have the ability to stop? Um, he did have the ability to stop the concert. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. He did have the ability to stop. But did he, and he did, Travis Scott did stop the concert. He did stop. No more he did stop. Hold on, I'm sorry. I don't know why this went to another. Okay, wait. Okay. He did stop the concert. He did. He did. Remember, he stopped the concert and he was like, hey, um, someone, can you make sure that someone is, um, you know, someone is down. Can you guys please get it? You guys don't remember that? I am so sorry about this. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is that clip at? Jesus, what happened? I don't know what happened. It was on there and then all of a sudden it went away. That's so weird. Isn't that weird? Okay, here we go. I heard you say that okay, he's taken right. responsibility. What do you mean by that? And he wants to make sure this doesn't happen again. What do you mean? When I say responsibility, someone has to say, where are the breakdowns? Where was the communication Thank breakdown? You, where was the talk. public safety breakdown? I mean, this notion that Travis had the ability to stop the concert is ludicrous. They have a 59-page uh, operations plan, and it clearly says the only uh, two people that are um, have the authority to stop the concert were the executive producer and the concert producer. Um, he was not responsible for this, but he wants to be responsible for the solution. And I'm here to make sure that we can connect the dots and to make sure that this tragedy, that there's a lesson out of this tragedy and something like this doesn't happen again. Loves. Okay, you know, so. I, I heard you say that he's taken responsibility. Um, I hate to say it, but I agree with this woman. And I've said this from the beginning. I think that other video, I was kind of hypocritical. Of course, first I said he was responsible. And then I said he wasn't responsible because I broke down on why he wasn't responsible. But she kind of even says the same thing. There's a 57-page document that outlines who can stop the concert. I think it, the executive and someone else you guys heard it and that's it but he did stop the concert because he has to get paid he wants to get paid all right and i think they were um shooting something live maybe some type of show or something like that so if he is not responsible for stopping the concert how can travis scott get um sued what are they going to sue him for what exactly are they going to sue him for? They went, he went, they went to a Travis Scott concert. Who did they pay to attend the, the concert? They didn't pay Travis Scott. No, they did not. They paid Live Nation. So whoever they paid to attend the concert is who they can sue. How is it that they can sue Travis Scott? Did Travis Scott kill anyone? No. No, he didn't. He did not kill anyone. 
those people die not because of Travis Scott. They die because of the security or lack of. Now, there's another video where um, he's performing and there's like 10 police. There's 10 police just in the front. just And this was like 10 minutes before the concert was over. After people were dead. So if you have 10 police, like right next to the stage, you know, twiddling their thumbs, taking videos or whatever. If they did not know that people were dying, how is it that Travis Scott didn't know that people were dying? I mean, then Travis Scott didn't know that people were dying. I don't think that Travis Scott would be appearing on stage in front of 50,000 people and know that eight people were dead or people getting trampled on and continue to perform. If he didn't know, if the police in the front didn't know that people were dying or dead or there was a little nine-year-old boy who should not have been there in the first place, okay? Again, I understand that, you know, the boy is in the hospital and that he's fighting for his life or I think they said allegedly that all of his organs are damaged or or something like that and also and okay there is another woman so there's nine victims there's nine victims there's nine deaths and I don't know if this little boy is gonna make it I don't know but I honestly think that the parent the parent should face charges because there's that that's child endangerment to have a child in that environment i mean it's bad enough to have adults in that environment oh, my leg is locking up it's bad enough that they had adults in that environment but to have a child in that environment no no that's that's too much that's child endangerment on every level I mean, if you have adults that are dying at a rave, at a rave concert, why would you bring a child there? Now, if you would have had the child backstage, you know, before Travis Scott had gone on stage, that's one thing. Just like Stormy was backstage with her mother, okay? Backstage, not where there's 50,000 people, you know, surging to the front of the stage no no live nation is liable um allegedly the the chief of police is liable the 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 fire department they're liable who else is liable there's a plethora of people the or the producers the executive producers liable but not travis scott he is not liable like why are you guys uh, you, no one's saying anything about Drake. He was there. So why are you guys... I, I don't understand. And one thing, you know, they said that he's in hiding now. I understand that, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. Um, things happen. Things absolutely happen. And, you know, I think he had, remember when they said that he was going to pay for everyone to, you know, everyone's ticket or whatever. And I think there was a clause in that, that if he paid, refunded you, that you could not sue him. You should be able to sue him in the first place. Like, on what basis can you sue Travis? Travis, he didn't kill anyone. What are you suing him for? That wasn't his concert venue. That was not his um, production. Now, if his people gave that concert and his people were responsible like his you know immediate like if that was a uh travis scott productions that'd be different that'd be different but that wasn't a travis scott production that was a live nation production in houston 
And the um, fire chief, if they seen that, you know, things were, you know, not correct, if the police chief felt that things were not, you know, in a proper forms for security or people's safety, they could have shut it down. Oh, yes. the In the fire, the fire cult, they could have shut it down, but they didn't. They did not. I mean, you know, like they have stuff like that. Um... In San Francisco, it's called Outside Lands. Are there kids there? Yeah. Yes, I think there's kids in the Outside Lands. But, like, who would bring kids to Coache Coachella? Like, why would you bring a nine-year-old? And you weren't in the VIP. At least, if you're going to have a child, be in the VIP. But they should not have even allowed a nine-year-old child to be in that vicinity. I don't care if Jesus Christ himself was coming there. That nine-year-old child should not have been there. No. No. And Travis Scott, he's not liable. Now, you know, he's paying for the funerals of the people who passed away. But, so, if I, if, okay, if I'm doing this YouTube, if I'm doing this video and someone is looking at this video and while they're looking at this video, um, they forget that their chicken is frying or something is baking or something or a candle, a candle flips over. That's not my fault that that candle flipped over. That's the person's fault. But since they were looking at my video, what do you think I'm liable? No, I'm not liable. I'm not liable. I am not liable. That person is liable. Okay, that's not a good example. I'm trying to think of, uh, this is not funny. This is not funny. This is not funny. Because, you know, he and he did stop the concert when he saw that someone is you know, who, who needed help, he did stop it. So all these people are like, oh, he didn't stop. Oh my God, Gossip Girl XOXO. I really love, I love her channel. But she, and I even put it on there. I said, you sound so ignorant and simple. She just, it just the stuff that she was saying, it was just so, it was such an uneducated opinion. There's a, oh, I was just like, is she serious? Like, are people serious? Like, I don't even know how lawyers can even write up a document to, to sue. I, I, I guess because he has $200 million, I guess people are like, oh, I want some of that. I definitely want some of that. But they can't, they can't. He's not liable. He is not liable. And if they have a 59-page document, you know, um, outlining who's liable and who's not, I can almost guarantee you that Travis is not liable. So if, if you know what I'm saying, if someone, if I go to a concert, I'm trying to think of a person I would go to, Maxwell, I would go see Maxwell. If I go to, you know, a concert at the SAP Pavilion and people, someone brings guns and they're shooting and I get shot, let me knock on wood. God forbid. Maxwell, I, I can't sue Maxwell. He didn't shoot me. I can sue the SAP Pavilion for not, you know, um, checking everybody for guns and everything like that. You know, a metal detector. I can sue them. Let's see. I can sue the promoter who promoted the event. But I can't sue Maxwell. Maxwell didn't have anything to do with the person shooting. I can't, I, you know, I can't do anything about the person. Maxwell didn't, would not have shot me. It's not Maxwell's fault. If I were to get, knock on wood, if I were to get shot, at a con at his concert. That's not his fault. He did not shoot me. He did not give the person the gun. You know what I'm saying? He didn't supply the gun. It's not Maxwell's fault. Allegedly. I'm not, you know, I haven't been to Maxwell. But I'm just saying. So, 
So why? And then the guy's father, like, I'm sorry. And I really am really, you know, I have kids are my heart. I love kids. But the parent, if some, I had, to, I hate to beat a, a horse while it's down, but, and add insult to entry, but you, what is, how do you, why would you bring a nine-year-old to a raging concert? Help me understand, people. Help me understand, because it's not, it's not, it just simply is not Travis Scott's. It's not, it's not him. It's not his fault. It's not. You can't blame this young man. Oh my God, he he looks, his um, daughter looks exactly like him. Now that I'm looking at this picture, his daughter, Stormy, him and Stormy, I mean, Stormy is just a lighter version of him. But my goodness. Yeah, that after that astro. Uh, thank you, um, the shade room. They give tons of information. But yeah, um, you know, mounting legal issues after being hit with seven additional lawsuits for what? For what? It's been a week since the um, tragic incident occurred at Astro World, claiming the lives of nine people and injuring dozens more. And Travis Scott and Live Nation's legal issues are proven to be an ongoing nightmare to um, nightmare that will likely be very costly. It was just confirmed that now more than a hundred lawsuits has officially been filed against both Travis Scott and Live Nation, as legal experts state that the number will continue. New York Post reports the families of those who died along with those who are currently facing severe injuries continue to file lawsuits against Travis Scott and Live Nations for deadly Astral World Festival that is currently responsible for the deaths of nine people. As of now, over 100 lawsuits have been filed against Travis Scott and popular concert promoter Live Nation. That's Live Nation. Is a per, it, it, are you people not not travel with more legal claims expected within the upcoming days? One of the attend, attendees injured, Nyara Goods. I don't know if I pronounced that first name right. Is not only suing Travis Scott and Live Nation, but also Astro World performer Drake. The deadly crowd surged and its aftermath unfolded right in front of Webster and Graham. Who is Webster and Graham? Is is Graham is Drake's last name? Nonetheless, they continued their. Um, oh, okay. So, Drake Graham. Uh, okay. Um. Nonetheless, they continued their performance while medical personnel struggled to reach the numerous unconscious, unconscious and injured concert goers. She is suing for one million dollars. I think everyone is trying to sue. That's what I think. I think everyone just wants to get, you know, a little, a little of something, a little of nothing. And I mean, you know, if that's, if that's what you want to do. This is just a sad situation. And it didn't have to be if the fire marshal did their job. So I'm telling you, I think the city of Houston, the fire department is liable. I don't know why people are not fire, uh, suing them, the city of Houston, the fire department of Houston, the cops who stood by. That's what I'm saying. How are you going to uh, sue Drake and um, Travis when the cops were standing there? Just There were like eight of them just standing there. Not doing anything. Not doing a damn thing, but yet you're going to how does that happen? What, what was the purpose of the cops being there? So that Travis was okay, but what about the, the, the thousands of people who were being, you know, trampled on or whatever? Isn't that your job to make sure that the public is safe? So were you guys being paid by Travis? Were you being, the cops, were they being paid by Live Nation? Who were they being paid to protect, Travis or the people? 
were the city cops who are on who were in uniform were they on city time or were they on Travis Scott time or were they on Live Nation time and who were you there to protect again Travis or the people or both who, what was their role to keep law and order okay that didn't happen no no that did not happen so again who is liable I, I would just like to know, I mean, I would like to know the legal ease which says that Travis Scott is liable. How do, no, there's no way that he knew nine people had died. You're looking at 50,000 people and you're telling me I'm supposed, I'm responsible for knowing that, you know, this group over here, you know, people were dead. Now, you know, fights break out all the time. And you know, if you're in the first maybe 20 rows, okay, fine. But if you're like way back there, what is he supposed And then you have all the lights coming at you. You can't, you're way in the back of the, the stage. Look, I don't even know Travis. I have no loyalty to the Kardashians or anything like that. But I'm just using my brain logically and trying to, to define whatever legal ease I know that this is just not valid. This is not valid. No. These claims are not valid whatsoever. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.